Hi, I'm Maureen Haldeman, and uh, I was born in Holland, grew up in Montreal, and I came to um, Los Angeles probably about 30, maybe more years ago, which was about the time when I started doing photography. Why LA? Actually, I used to be with an airline, and I was based here. Okay. I did choose to come, though. <laughs> I had options. I was in New York, I was in San Francisco, and then from San Francisco I came down here. And tell us about your photography background. How did that start? Well, my photography actually started when I was traveling. I took a lot of photographs because I went everywhere, which was very lucky. And uh, I was kind of satisfied with some of the images, but they weren't, like, wonderful. And so I thought, I really love this, but I really need to learn how to do this properly. So when I stopped flying, I had time, and I started to take classes. I took classes at um, UCLA. I took fine art classes. I also took fine art photography classes, and I was lucky enough to study with Robert Heineken, and he was a big influence and more or less showed me that photography is fine art. And that was sort of the beginning of, of the journey. What were your first experiences with a camera, and what was it? Oh my gosh, the first experiences, I probably had a, you know, I don't even remember what the first camera was that I took on trips. It was just nothing special little 35 mil or whatever. But the first real nice camera that I thought was a nice camera was a, um, a let's see, it was, I'm trying to remember because I kept it for a long time. It was a Pentax and it was a K1000. And it was like, no bells or whistles, but it was like my first real cool 35 millimeter camera actually. And had lenses and so that was, you know, that's the beginning of uh, the equipment. I actually stayed with Pentax for quite a while and then I switched to Canon. So in your early days of photography, what locations were you shooting? When I was here in Los Angeles and started shooting an awful lot at the beach. I live at the beach, so I did a lot of that. I'd sometimes venture downtown, but I pretty much stayed in, I did landscape photography, so I more or less stayed around my, where I live. And talk about your education. Well, I'm from Montreal. I went to high school actually where I studied um, mechanical drawing. I was the only girl that did that because I wanted to become an architect, which I never did become. But that's why I have a fascination with architecture and that's why this new series that I've done is more or less about that. This series, it's not architectural photography, but it's really more about the, I guess, the abstractions that are inherent in architecture. And that's what I've tried to capture. The liquid light series actually evolved from shooting. Originally, it was um, I did these photographs with a Android. It was people first started doing self photography, and I was doing that, and I actually was doing them solarized, and that was actually also an accident. I was taking pictures of palm trees. I was just learning how to use the camera in the Android, and I thought this is quite unusual. And I realized I was on a solarized setting, and I thought this is so cool. <laughs> so I did a whole series, not the liquid light, but I did another series, which was called Malibu Metallica, and they were pretty much uh, not just Malibu, but they were around Malibu, Venice, Santa Monica, but they were all nature, and they just were real. Well, they were surreal, and they were great fun. And I was very lucky, I got a show at, there was a gallery called, I think it was called the G2 Gallery, if you ever remember that. It was in Venice, and they did a lot of uh, nature photography. And I had my first show there with the cell phones and cell phone photos, and so that was, um, that was a, a nice thing to do. And then from there I started doing more, I dropped that, and then I started doing more of the oceans and in Malibu. And I ended up with a series called uh, Liquid Light which was basically abstractions of the ocean. I would do them very early in the morning, some late at night, most of them were very early in the morning, very early in the morning. And they were gold, they really were like liquid light. And I had a show of those in Malibu in a gallery that's no longer there. But uh, I ended up printing them quite large, like 20 by 30s were the smallest ones in, uh, on metal. It sort of enhanced the uh, images. So what are the beaches you've explored in Southern California? Not so much south of Los Angeles, but Santa Monica, Venice Beach, Santa Monica Beach, uh, Will Rogers, I shoot. My own beach, which is Latigo Beach, I've done, I do a lot there, especially the real early morning ones. Zuma Beach, and those are pretty much the most you know, frequently shot for me. Are these places that you just enjoy going to? 
I do because I do love it and I'm very attracted to nature and I love the ocean and it's very inspirational for me and it's also a, um, a place just to be alone and, and that's very important. And so that series is very uh, kind of personal because it is pretty much around my home and it sort of expresses how I feel of where I live. I'm lucky enough to live there. Do you photograph the people? No. Surf no surfers? Oh, I've done the occasional surfer. <laughs> Can't help that. But I'm not really seeking out to do that. Though I have a few images where I consciously chose to have someone in there, whether it was a sunset or whatever. But for the most part, I don't shoot people. The last few years, I've sort of totally switched my focus from the natural settings to more urban settings. And I did, I did some work just not really street photography, but wandering downtown Los Angeles. I like the graffiti. I did a lot of shooting of that, but it was really just more for fun. It never became anything that I thought I want to document this as a series. I did one interesting little series, which was of an old uh, brothel that doesn't exist anymore, and it was a pretty cool place. And so I did that. I had like probably 12 images in it, but it was also kind of well received, and I showed that. And how do you plan these types of trips or excursions? much as they come along. I think the work that I did now with the black and white work and those images, they were a more conscious planning because I knew I needed to get extra photographs. I went back to places where I'd been before so I would go again at different times of the day. So that became more of a, a project. And I think with my other work it was really quite just fortunate when I'd come across things or see things that I enjoyed shooting. The latter work is more thought out. So what percentage of photography is it? LA based? Quite a lot, actually. I'd say maybe 90%. Yeah. What do you think of LA? I love LA. <laughs> and I love, I love a lot about LA. I actually, I think it's a great city because we have it all. And I think one of the things about shooting downtown, I didn't want to capture, you know, the, the architecture, but I did want to sort of show Los Angeles in that light as well. So talk about your process. You, uh Hop in your car or then Yeah, I'll go in my car. I actually did quite a bit of photography on the series very close by here at a place called Hayden Tract. And um, I just go and I know I'm going to, you know, I know where I'm going to, to look, I will be looking at. And, but then in many cases, like I said, I'll come back because the light isn't right or I'll see something in something in a photo and then I'll know if that was a different time of day would be better because I'd get that light or that shadow actually. And um, so that's more or less my process. It's really quite simple. And it's all throughout the year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so how often are you doing it? Quite a lot. I think I probably go out, even if it's not consciously shooting for the project, I probably shoot at least two or three times a week. I always have my cameras with my camera, a camera with me, or I'll have the cell. In downtown? I haven't actually done much downtown over the last couple of months. Oh, so what areas are you going to do that? Right now, I've been doing some Santa Monica work. I've been shooting a little bit under the pier, just for myself. I did that before, and I'm done doing it again, because I want to do it later in the day. Just wherever I happen to be going, I'll take the camera. Like I was in San Diego this weekend. I had never been there, <laughs> if you can imagine. And I actually, in San Diego, only shot Little Italy. <laughs> so it wasn't too representative of San Diego, but it was, it was very fun. And so I'm, I'm pretty much interested in shooting everything. I, I shoot a lot of different things, but I only focus on certain things for series, and I have about four. So I'm working on them as I'm doing all the other stuff. And what other series? Um, well, I have these right now, the black and white, which is actually my first time doing black and white. I've shot it before, but I never did a series in black and white. So that's, um, that's an ongoing project. And I'm, I'm working a little bit with the light underneath the Santa Monica Pier. It's not terribly unique, but it's a very beautiful place to be. So I'm doing that. I'm doing that in color. But basically, I don't really have any projects other than those two that I'm working on, specifically. And you did some t teaching, right? I taught 30, basic 35 millimeter and uh, basic darkroom skills. And I did it for a couple of semesters at Santa Monica College, and it was great fun. It was fun to do. And, uh, but then I realized I'm not really a teacher. <laughs> and so I, um, I didn't do it for more than a few semesters, but it was enjoyable. And, and going back to the uh, shooting the beaches, how long have you been shooting the beaches again? Oh, 15 years. Talk about the changes years. that you've seen in these areas in the last 15 years. Fortunately, I haven't seen too many changes in the beaches per se. 
where I live in Malibu there are changes, but not so much on the beach. The beaches are still pretty much the way they were when I first moved there. Absolutely, that's, that's good, yeah. They're not changing. Sometimes there's, there's more sand than other times, but the beaches are still the same. But there's more shopping. Inside, inland, yes, there's more shopping and more restaurants and more people and more traffic and all the things that you kind of have to go well. And then you look out to the ocean and you say, it's worth it. It's worth living here. Kind of put up with all the stuff. More pot dispensaries. Yeah, all over the place. <laughs> That's true. Tell me about your portraiture studio. Uh, my portraiture studio was called uh, Maureen Haldeman Photography. And I basically did headshots, a lot of headshots. I did children, people brought children. And I enjoyed doing it, but I didn't love it. And I got to the point where it was really not so much like what I wanted to shoot, but what they wanted to see. And so it wasn't too, you know, too long before I kind of gave it up and started doing more fine art. That's sort of the transition to the fine arts photography. I started just doing some projects in the little studio, tabletop setups, just playing around, just different things. And then the portraiture sort of went by the wayside. How about mentors? Any mentors that you worked with? Yeah, I don't have any specific mentors or photographers who I follow. I have many that I admire, contemporary ones, as well as you know the old classic photographers like Cartier-Bresson, of course, who, who could not be influenced by him. And um, I have many friends that are photographers, and I, I enjoy their work, and I, I get something from looking at their images. I'm happy to look at any photography. All right, and another big influence, I think, on my work, and as a matter of fact, on the work I'm doing right now, is because I did study with Robert Heineken, and he, at that time, was doing photograms, which are images created outside of the camera, just th through the sun or through light-sensitive materials. And I'm starting to do some images that are similar to that, though I'm doing them in the camera, but I'm trying to capture lights shining on something, as opposed to the shadows that are reflected in the architectural type images I have. So it's kind of a new departure. I suppose it's actually kind of hopefully going to be the beginning of a new series. That's actually pretty significant for me right this minute. Yeah.